hello my honeys i'm back again with another tutorial listen don't beat me up forgive me i know i've been gone for a little while but your girl was going through her little spiritual journey i had to take some time for myself and it took me away from youtube but i'm gonna really try this time to be consistent but anyways here i am and i'm back with another one i'm gonna be showing you guys how i achieved this glamorous over the top carnival slash festival makeup and you're gonna want to keep watching this because i'm gonna really show you how to slay this eyeshadow and beat the face to perfection like stop playing with me let's get right into it <laughs> and of course you know before i show you how to slay down this face and mash up the place i'm gonna ask you to go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any more of my up and coming tutorials honey and i have so much new content coming for you like we may or may not be going international with this but shh, it's a little secret but anyways let's get right into it all right my honey so we're going to be starting with eyebrows and i'm going to be using this nars foundation to cover up her natural brow well, her natural brow has been microbladed. I kind of wanted to do things my way, so I decided to cover them up. And then after I covered them with foundation, I'm just gonna pat on some setting powder to really set them into place and to get rid of the liquid effect from the foundation. So now that I've covered her brows, I'm going to be going in with the Kale Beauty Eyebrow Perfector Pencil in Deep Brown. This has been my favorite eyebrow pencil ever since Kale Beauty came up with them. And I'm basically just creating like an outline above and below the brow. And this is just going to help to enhance her brow shape even more and make her brow stand out more and make the shape look so much more neater and polished. So after I've done that, I'm just going to brush the eyebrow hairs through to just manipulate the eyebrow hair right to make them fluff up more and show more and then i'm just gonna follow the natural shape of the brow and just fill in any areas where i have gaps um any sparsity around the brow i kind of i kind of want more like of a slightly bolder brow um because we're doing this dramatic eyeshadow look however because i had put the foundation on her brow as well as setting powder it's going to naturally lighten her brow so it's going to give a nice uh, like dramatic enough but like but like supernatural brow like it's going to be soft soft but like still very defined which is like really beautiful so as you can see the color is like is like softer than it would usually be like if i hadn't um applied the foundation into the brow yeah so after i've done that i'm just gonna take this concealer here this is actually one of my favorite concealers it's from huda beauty and i'm just gonna apply it underneath uh the brow shape i'm just doing this to define the brows even nicer but i only applying this uh concealer under the brow bone i don't want it in the front region of the brow because i feel like that look is kind of outdated when you apply the concealer all the way in the front of the brow it kind of just gives like a very unnatural outdated look in my opinion so don't bring the concealer all the way to the front okay and you kind of want to go for a color that's just like two three shades lighter nothing too light you know then i'm going to also be cleaning up above the brow but but for the top i'm going to be using foundation to do this because i kind of like when the brows look a bit more natural um and when you use the a foundation shade it just gives a more natural effect for the brow and at the front of the brow i'm using the same foundation shade as well to give this uh, like a natural transition into the highlight color under the brow bone okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to apply this p louis oh my god i just got this like two weeks ago and i'm actually obsessed this is really good this is the p louis um what do you call it now like a it's like a, a eyeshadow base and basically use this to create like a one solid color like a real clean canvas it just like mutes out all the colors on the eyelid and it makes your colors pop out more and we really need this to really make all the eyeshadow colors pop out more okay but before you can even start putting your eyeshadow colors on top you kind of want to set it with like with like a translucent powder or like this white powder from the Kale Beauty Artist Essential Powder Palette. This is gonna ensure that the color, that, that the eyeshadow area is matte so that when you start applying your eyeshadow, it's not moving around or, or becoming too blotchy, okay? That's just gonna make 
your your canvas your eyeshadow re your eyelid region just work really well um, against like the eyeshadow is gonna blend nicely against it because it won't be like wet and mucky do you understand where I'm going with this kind of babbled a bit there I'm sorry <laughs> so to make the eyeshadow look more defined and to make it neater I just applied a bit of tape to the side of the eye okay so look at how I'm gonna do this now I am going to be figuring out where her crease is because we're doing a cut crease look it's very important to identify the crease area very well so basically I just have her close her eyes and I'm just like uh, applying dots to outline uh, where I want to cut my crease before I just go ahead in and like mess up I feel like it's very important to get a nice uh, crease shape and like a natural looking crease shape or whatever crease shape you desire so it's very good to kind of map it out with these dots before you start going ahead and drawing a line okay so uh, a good way to figure out where your crease is is you kind of want to turn the brush um, to up, uh, in the opposite direction so you want to get the, the end of the brush and you want to kind of uh, point it in the hollow region of the eyelid and that little hollow region right there um, underneath the brow bone is where the crease is and this is the region where you want to apply this line so basically I just apply the line I just blend it back and forth back and forth back and forth like just like kind of um, what do you call this now I just like flick my wrist back and forth back and forth back and forth until like I'm building up the pigment of the color here okay so to do this I use the black first um, and then I'm using a blue on top to just brighten up the color Oh, I lied. Here I am. I'm using a black actually. It just looks somewhat blue because the eyeshadow base is so white. So basically, I'm just using black and I'm just building up the color. Um, okay, so look at this now. I'm going in and I'm creating this design, honey. I'm so extra. I love it. So this is just a little design. I can't lie. I got inspiration from this wonderful makeup artist on Instagram. Like I, I put together like three different makeup looks and kind of like made it my own, you know so i thought this design was cool because it kind of went with the shape of uh with the, with the print on her um carnival bra you'll see it later let me know if you see it <laughs> let me know if you see the vision like when you see the whole look come together okay so basically what i'm doing is is i'm just thickening up uh the lines for the design like this is really simple guys but the, the main thing here is that you want to get a brush that is really thin like a thin little pencil brush and that's what I'm using to create these designs like do you see how thin my brush is like like a small paintbrush type situation like you should be able to draw eyeliner with a brush that's how thin it should be and I'm just I'm just creating these shapes and I'm just creating like a little oval and you'll see the reason why I'm just drawing an oval on her eyelid guys it's just the process if you're doing this at home or practicing on a model or on yourself you kind of just want to watch what I'm doing and then follow it and then pause and then go again <laughs> you know what I mean just just follow pause watch then follow again okay so we basically just drew all of that out and thicken the lines so I'm just taking this be perfect cosmetics um, palette and I'm grabbing this green right here oh that's a beautiful turquoise green green I'm gonna tag the. I'm gonna like let you know the colors below but you kind of can just look in a palette and kind of tell what I'm using as well and basically we are transitioning from that black into this beautiful blue okay so that's what I'm doing so I'm so right above the black eyeshadow we're just applying that blue and then I took a next color which is the green and I'm just filling in the gaps between <laughs> those little ridges right there and to make it really pop this is the major key right here I'm going back into my eyeshadow base and just drawing like these little white lines right beneath the black uh, ridges that I created it's going to help the black to contrast even more and pop out even more guys like this is the major key so anytime you draw like a super black line you want to go right beside it and and carve it out like clean it define define it with like your eyeshadow base to make to create more contrast and to make the color pop out even more okay so now that we've cut the crease we're cleaning out the eyelid region okay so I clean out the eyelid region with some micellar water and then I use like a blue eyeshadow base base from Pillowy and I create a line with it and I applied a bit more of the nude color eyeshadow base 
um, towards the end of the eye because I wanted to have like a bright base for this this red color that I'm using isn't it so beautiful so after I applied some red to the end I applied some yellow uh, to bring along this little wing effect that I have going on there then I'm brightening in the green area and I'm adding some yellow to it to brighten up those regions as well so next thing I'm gonna do is apply more eyeshadow base onto the eyelid guys it's very important that you clean it with micellar water before you add more base it's just gonna make everything pop more and just in case any of the black fell down onto the eyelid it will just look bad when it mixes with the white so definitely you want to clean it before you put eyeshadow base so here I am building up the colors on the eyelid first I started with white then I transitioned into a pink a light pink then I transitioned into a brighter pink and then purple these colors are so pretty and then a darker purple so this came out really nicely I decided that the white at the front was too white so I changed it to yellow I think the yellow went nicer with her uh, skin tone what do you think so the next thing I'm gonna do is apply eyeliner um, I have other tutorials where I go into detail how to do a proper um, eyeliner okay I'm taking this green glitter liner and creating a green glitter line then I'm just defining my two ovals at the side of the eyes with a pink liner and with a green liner and I'm applying some glue inside the ovals because I'm going to put rhinestones in them I'm being extra so for the bottom oval I applied uh, gold rhinestones and for the top oval I applied white rhinestones okay so if you've never applied rhinestones before or you struggle with rhinestones I got you I'm gonna tag the rhinestones down below they come from Amazon and they come with this little white pencil and it comes with a glue okay so you want to apply a bit of the glue on the eye region where you want to apply the rhinestones and you need to get a tad bit of the glue on the tip of the pencil so that when you dip into the rhinestones it will actually pick up a rhinestone for you okay so you have to be careful only get a tad bit of the glue just to make it tacky at the end because when you dip into the rhinestones if it's too much glue it's going to take up way too many rhinestones so you can decide if you want to pick up one rhinestone or a few rhinestones and then you just apply it straight on the eyelid it's really simple all right my love so now i'm just applying i'm being extra so i'm applying some glue in the little ridges and i'm applying these little beads that i also got on amazon so i put gold beads then silver beads then gold beads and silver beads again and instead of picking up one right one little stone i picked up a few so you see i just got a few on my brush and i'm just getting them there and i'm just positioning them pushing positioning them properly uh, uh with my little pencil and with the end of my pencil and then because I'm super extra I'm gonna apply rhinestones over the glitter line I'd put in the crease and it's just coming out so bomb okay <laughs> okay so honey the next thing I'm gonna do is apply a lash to really bring this glam together and I dare you to try this look can you guys please try this look and tag me oh my god like you have to so let's move on to the skin and get this beat down pat okay so I started with skin prep I applied some moisturizer just use embryo least moisturizer i'll tag everything down below so i won't be talking too much on product i'll just tag everything down below so the next thing i'm going to be doing is controversial i'm applying milk of magnesia in my babe's t-zone because she gets oily and i dry it properly to like a clear to like a white mat before i start working on top of it okay so make if you're going to use milk of magnesia to dry the oil in the face please make sure it turns white before you start working I applied some foundation on the face and then I'm just patting. I actually mixed two colors, that's why I showed two colors on the screen. And I just pat, 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 and then I'm just dragging some down on her chin, okay? But when you're applying foundation, ensure to pat, okay, babes? That's how you're gonna get a flawless look. <laughs> okay, so my babe has a bit of darkness under her eyes and around her mouth. This is called hyperpigmentation. So I apply the Kio Beauty Color Corrector and then I'm just patting with this little fluffy brush that I'll tag below. It's so good and fluffy and you just want to pat until the product not becomes not so orange okay it's going to cancel out the darkness on the face then i'm going to be doing my highlighter placement my contour placement honeys for this part just literally screenshot and just apply it exactly the way i'm applying it okay you want to spread it um under the eyes spread it a bit in the center of the forehead down the nose on the chin like screenshot that and just do it exactly the way i do it now I'm going in with the contour, honey, the contour, <laughs> and I'm using a Care Beauty Sun Sculpt uh, Bronzing Sticks. Like, if you're a woman of color, don't play. Like, this is the best. Oh, it's, it's so creamy and nice. Like, 
we didn't play with this one like KOB did not play with this one okay so just you want to screenshot that as well and put it in the positions where I put it this video is moving too fast hold on I'm gonna literally rewind to show you guys where to put it to get the nice high sculpted cheekbones wait one second I'm gonna rewind one one second one second all right, all right, all right let's take it back let's take it back so first things first you want to grab your contour stick right um and you want to apply it like this but look duh, 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 right here right here right here yeah this is the part so basically i want you to position your hand by the air okay and basically what you're doing is you're feeling for your cheekbone right the hollow part of your cheekbone you should hold onto the hollow part of your cheekbone with your thumb and basically apply the contour above your thumb okay so look hold on to the face and then feel for the hollow part of the, the, the jawline and then you apply it on top of the jawline to achieve these lifted cheekbones yeah so when you've done that now you just get some contour on the forehead and then you want to take a lighter color this one this lighter color is cinnamon stick and that's what you need for the nose contour when you're doing nose contour you want to apply straight lines down the side of the nose like the line has got to be straight otherwise the nose is going to appear bigger than it actually is we don't really need that okay so just try to, to draw two straight lines on the side of the nose. Like, don't copy the actual shape of the nose. Like, no matter the shape, just literally two straight lines. <laughs> okay? And then, yeah, that will be a nice nose contour. Hi, Connie's. I'm trying my best to explain. Like, if you have anything that you need clarification on, just put it below. And I will, like, get to it in another video. So, now we're going to blend out the contour, honey. But before I like to really blend it out, I call this part blurring. And I'm just taking a small synthetic fiber brush and I'm just patting against the contour to just kind of blur out the color. You know what I mean? You know, um, before we really start blending. Okay, so you, you, we're just taking away the harsh lines and we're just doing this by patting. And make sure to use a brush that is small enough so that the product stays in the, in the area that you want to contour. Okay, very important. Get a variety of brushes, brush sizes. So I'm just patting on the cheek here as you can see. Then... I am blurring out the lighter colors, okay? And I'm taking a small brush when I'm doing small regions of the face. So I'm just using like a small blending brush for the center of the face. Next thing is you're going to blend the transition color between the light and the dark. And you're doing this using that same brush you had used for foundation, okay? So basically, my honey, you don't want to add any more foundation to it. You just want to pat with whatever is already on the brush in between the light and the dark. And look at that beautiful transition on the forehead. Like, don't play with it, girl. Like, follow my instructions, honey, and it will look the same way. And when I say girl, I know I have some male MUAs that watch my videos too. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just I'm just using Klein Talk. So now we're going to blur out the, the highlight eyes under the eyes. The highlight regions under the eyes. And first, we want to blend out the end, the end of it. So where the line stops. That's where you need to blend out that section first. Then I'm taking that same foundation brush with whatever leftover foundation on it. I'm blending in between the light and the dark. And it's coming out flawlessly. Like, if you follow this blending technique, honey, like, you'll be a, like a master in your city in no time. Or you'll be like seeing your face down. People are going to be like, girl, do you always get your makeup professionally done before you go? Like, trust me, I got you. I got you, honey. I love you. And I'm like, really putting you on how i really do it okay so by the side of the nose this is important you want to take a little fluffy brush and you just want to pat okay because you don't want to have those lines in your makeup you want everything to be seamless okay so make sure to blend out the side of the nose um by the contour so now this is toasted almond what am i using this for oh i'm gonna brighten down that region so after you've done all of that this is optional like if you really want that va va voom that like slay to the gods type of look you want to brighten up the under a tad bit okay and as a rule um when you're applying concealer under the eyes starting out two shades lighter and if you really want a va va voom you can apply a bit more at the end to brighten it up or you can apply like something that's a bit three shades lighter okay Oh my god the video is moving too fast again <laughs> should i slow down this is not that important so i won't slow down for right here but basically i'm just okay i have to slow down one second one second all right so i rewinded and basically i'm showing you the brightening section where i put a lighter color three shades lighter on the eyes this is optional and then i'm blending it out with that beauty blender like guys like for brightening i really really love to do this with a beauty blender damped drive the excess liquid then 
blend of course okay then i'm just getting some liquid blush on the cheek i just apply it directly onto the face and i'm just using that side of the sponge that's clean and i'm just patting it gently to kind of blur out that color because you want that little baby doll look you know cute and then i'm using a powder puff and i get a lot of powder on my powder puff and i just pat it pat it pat it against the under eye region so for real y'all like this is my technique like i get a whole bunch of setting powder on my on the face and then i brush off the excess that's close to like the blush region because what happened is it just mess it just messes up everything if you don't like clean off the the cheek section of the face properly like you can leave some powder on the eyes but like make sure to brush off the excess powder that's close to like the blush and the contour region because it's going to make everything blotchy when you apply your powder contour trust me on this <laughs> Then I'm going in with my favorite, the Care Beauty Artist Essential Powder Palette, my love. It's like, y'all love this palette. And I'm just applying powder contour. And the reason why we apply liquid cream contour and powder contour is because it, it, it makes the makeup long lasting. Like, this is carnival glam, honey. Like, if you want your makeup to last all day, you put your makeup magnesia, honey. That's going to make the makeup last all day. And then you do cream and then powder. Babe, your makeup is not moving. Trust me on this. And then I'm just applying powder contour over the nose. And as usual, the video is moving too fast. Because I know the girlies love to watch and follow. So basically, you're just going over the nose contour with powder. And you can put something bright from the palette on the scent of the nose to brighten it up. And then I'm just getting some um, setting powder down the sides of the nose to really sharpen the nose contour. Okay yeah and now i'm just gonna set underneath the cheekbones because i want to do a bit of baking under the cheekbones so i just basically draw a line with a setting powder that is more like yellowy you know closer to the skin tone for underneath the cheekbones okay then i'm just blending out a black line i put like a black eyeliner under her eyes and blend it out and i just have this napkin to prevent fallout and i'm just putting that bright lime green that's in her on her eyelid you know to kind of mesh the whole eye look together and then before I even do the lips, I like to wipe it off with micellar water. Then I'm going out my favorite lip pencil, like the girlies know, <laughs> the Care Beauty Cocoa Bean. It's like a brown lip liner. And I love to overline. And the way I do this, I just ask my model, my client, to seal her lips. And then um, I just overline. Uh, copy the lip shape, but like above, you know, the actual lip. And I'm just lining. Um, the bottom lip and i'm just stretching her skin so it's easy for me to line it properly and yeah like honestly i love to overline this my client already has like like super super big voluptuous lips but i love to overline because it just really adds like this dull effect and for me i think makeup is just fun and girly i like i like when makeup is looks really really like girly and like doll like that's just my way of doing it okay i just like to have fun with it and then I'm going in with oh my god this is my this is like um the sexy lipstick melts melted lipsticks from Care Beauty literally they're melted lipsticks and I'm just applying it in the center of the babe's lip and I'm blending it into the lip line as well um yeah these will be in, in back in stock soon like all of these things are like a lot of these things are sold out right now like you guys don't play thank you for supporting Care Beauty I, you guys love it I appreciate you guys so much and then my favorite blush palette oh my god listen there's no glam for me without blush like stop playing so my little blush technique is i love to apply blush like literally right underneath the under eye region it's really gonna give that baby doll barbie look like trust me honey it's like this is like this is the key to get really getting that doll like look like you're gonna be looking so pretty <laughs> and because i'm extra i like to go in and apply more translucent powder under the eyes to make sure that air is like brightened up nicely so i just went in with like a lighter one this time and just put a tad bit and i'm just using more blush like this is like a darker blush and i'm using it more to like um kind of bronze up the face brighten the cheeks brighten the cheekbones you know so i'm applying that uh closer to the cheekbone and you just see how that just warms up the face brings vibrancy and color to the face it makes the makeup look way more interesting you know and because i want to define the cheekbone this is my little secret i love to use the black of the berry that's that purpley contourish looking blush shade and i literally use that to like intensify my contour like honey this is why you need this palette like people don't understand 
like blush bronzers these are what you kind of use to really like to really like contour in a sense like instead of contouring because contouring can be so sh shadowy and dark and muddy looking you want to use like blushes you know to kind of achieve that look yeah so i'm brushing away the powder i have on the cheekbones like if you're gonna um apply the big under the cheekbones you don't want to keep it on for too long because it kind of can come out uh, looking blotchy okay so now i'm just brushing away the powder under her cheek under her uh lip what am i saying <laughs> and then for the under eye i grab a clean brush and then i pat it i like to pat it first gently 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 okay because you don't want to interfere with the concealer and then after that i start to like brush it away a tad bit okay and now because i like my makeup to look seamless everything must blend into each other by the nose i'm just blending back and forth from the contour line into the um on the eye highlights to kind of mesh those two colors together like these are the things that you must do to make your makeup come out looking really professional like i'm giving you guys game like you better subscribe you better share this like don't be mean share this with your friends and you better like show me some love for real because you know like i'm really here like telling you how i do this for real like i really want you guys to learn something okay because like can you even have too much blush okay like for me i just keep adding blush like i'm a blush fanatic <laughs> you can stop when you want but like i love to add blush and then oh my gosh i want the nose to really pop so i'm applying highlights on the nose this is my favorite highlighter palette it works for every skin tone as you can see it has different shades of shimmery highlights on and i'm just getting that shade you know that little bronzy i'd say like that goldish shade on her nose and it looks fantastic and are you guys loving the video so far like give me some thumbs up <laughs> and i'm just showing you what the palette looks like if you want to go on and shop ko.com and purchase that that's what it looks like and i'm just getting some on the cheekbone i'm getting that gold color so pretty like you guys need to see my work in person like this makeup in person like stop playing like this video believe it or not does not do, do the makeup justice like i'm still trying to figure out lighting and stuff like that because i'm still like kind of new to you know recording myself do makeup like i wish like i could like really like get it to look the way it looks in real life on video but yeah i want the forehead to shine so i'm applying that bronzy color like that darker bronzy um highlighter to the forehead and on the chin because honey like she needs to look like a superstar like stop playing like it's carnival your skin needs to glow like a caribbean queen you know and i'm just making sure i blend it out because the last thing you need is just like a blotch of highlight just looking random and just awkward so make sure to blend it out a bit okay then i'm spraying this is my favorite setting spray like all night a setting spray if you use this babe your makeup is not really gonna move like honestly especially if you do the milk of magnesia because milk of magnesia is not only used to keep the face matte like it literally will have the makeup stuck to your face like i've tried all type of stuff like i really invest in makeup and i try a bunch of stuff like milk of magnesia is really what it is if you're really gonna be on the road all day trying to carnival makeup like it's gonna make your makeup type waterproof <laughs> okay and then you want to ensure you dry it and setting spray is also important because it helps to kind of melt down the powder on your face to make the makeup mesh together and look more like skin so that's why i kind of want to like low-key high-key kind of drench your face and then you guys have seen me do this a million times i use this white thing from mac it's called the lash maximizer and literally like if you have like thin or short lashes it helps to just thicken up your lash right like thickens it up and then after you apply that white lash maximizer then you're gonna go in with your mascara and as always i always use waterproof mascara and waterproof eyeliner because i don't like when things drain so that's just a little tip if you're gonna really be on the road carnival you need to use waterproof products and to that my honeys is all i have for you today thank you so much for watching it's time for the grand reveal va va voom how did i do how did you guys enjoy this video please go ahead and recreate this tag me let me know if you have any suggestions let me know what you think down in the comments if you have any questions you can ask me thank you guys so much i love you guys see you in the next video bye